Okay, we're doing decision one, uh, question five of the January 2013 paper. Let's take a look. So we've got a network that is 379 long and it tells us that the figure represents the roads in a Highland Wildlife Conservation Park and the vertices are the warden stations um, and the numbers are the length in kilometres of each uh, road. So during the winter months the park is closed, it's only necessary to access the warden station, use Prim's algorithm starting at A to find the minimum connector for the network. You must state the order in which you include the arcs. And then it says, part B, given it costs 80 kilometres to keep each selected road open, calculate the minimum cost of ensuring the road access to the warden stations. So let's have a go at this part first. So this is a prims question, so part A, we're going to do a prims question. Write down what you're doing starting at A. Okay, so if we're at A here, we're going to choose the arc coming out of A of least weight, and that's the 32. So tell the examiner what you're doing. The first one you've chosen is AC, which is 32. Okay? After that, you're going to choose the arc of least weight coming out of either A or C. So you look at everything coming out of A, which is just 35, or everything coming out of C, which is 50, 20, or 14, and clearly we'll take the 14. So the next one, write it down, you've taken is CF, which is 14. And now we're going to look at everything coming out of A, C, or F for the smallest, the 35, which we can't do anymore because it would form a cycle, so ignore that in future. The 50, the 20, or the 12. Again, we're going to take this 12 here, and we're going to include that. That's going to be F, D is 12. And we're going to look around from A, C, uh, F, or D for the smallest, either the 19, the 25, the 18, the 17, the 38, the 20, the 50. Clearly, the 17 is the next one. So I'm going to take that 17, which is FE. And now we're going to look around um, here. So the 19, the 25, the 18, the 24, the 50, or the 15. I'm going to take the 15 here. So I'm going to take EB. Um, now we know we can't ever take that 38 because it would form a cycle, or the 20 as it would form a cycle, or the 50 as it would form a cycle. So now we're looking at everything coming out of uh, the rest. So we'd have the 19, the 25, the 18, or the 24. We're going to take the 18. So that's FI. And clearly we can never take, um, okay, and now we're going to look at everything coming out of here. So the 19, the 25, the 21, the 10, uh, the 20, or the 24, we're clearly going to take the 10. So IJ10. And lastly, we're going to look at everything else coming out of here. So we can take the 24, the 20, the 9, the 21, the 25, and the 90. Clearly, we're going to take the 9, and we're going to have JG included. Okay, and now, is are we, are we done yet? Well, we could never have the 20 left over. We could never have the 24, as we'd have a cycle. And we haven't connected H, so we need to consider H as well. Uh, it's either the 19, the 25, or the 21. We're going to take the 19. So DH. 19 is our last one and we're done now a quick check to ourselves um just this is a check this isn't part of the working we have um one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and uh, we've got ten of these so uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten we've got ten nodes and in the minimum connector problem that would mean we have nine arcs one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
so nine arcs. That makes us feel fairly comfortable that we've done it right and we've done part A. Now, part B is saying, well, um, given that it costs eighty pounds per kilometer to keep it open, find the minimum cost of ensuring the roads are open. So we have to add these together. So firstly, um, length of minimum connector and so we add up the 32 plus the 14 plus the 12 plus the 17 plus the 15 plus the 18 plus the 10 plus the 9 plus the 19 and we get ourselves 146 and for each kilometer it's 80 pounds so all we do is 146 multiplied by 80 and we get ourselves uh, 11680 pounds and that's our answer to part B and we're done okay so let's go back to the original question we've done part A and part B um, the rest of it is actually turns out to be a Chinese postman because it says at the end of winter Ben inspects all the roads before the park reopens he needs to travel along each road at least once he will start and finish at A and he wishes to minimise the length of his route. Use the route inspection algorithm to find the roads that will be traversed twice. You must make your method clear. Find the length of the shortest route inspection. So this is a classic Chinese postman problem, starting and finishing at A. So let's do this one, part C and D. First thing we need to do is identify the order of each arc. So let's write our arcs down and their order. It's easier if you do it in a say a table format like this so we've got a b c d e f g h i and j okay so a has order one two arcs coming out of it b has order one two three arcs coming out of it c has order one two three four arcs coming out of it e has order one two three four arcs coming out of it so that was E. D I've left out. D has order two, two arcs coming out of it. Um, F has order one, two, three, four, five, six, seven arcs coming out of it. G has order one, two, three arcs. H has order one, two, three arcs. I has order one, two, three, four arcs. And J has order one, two arcs. So we identify the odd ones are our key ones to identify. So this one's odd. Uh, this one's odd. This one's odd. And this one's odd. Okay, so there's our first bit of work. It identified the odd orders of arcs. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. Now that means that we have to, if they're odd, we have to find a path or double up uh, between um, the odd nodes. So here are our options. Option one. We can either pair up B with F some way, some path between B and F to double them up, which means that G and H must be paired up. Or option two. We could either pair up B, not with F this time, but with G. So B could go with G, in which case F would have to go with H. And option three, uh, B would have to go with H, in which case um, F would go with G. Okay, so there are our options. Now we actually determine how we would do that looking at the graph. So B to F, what's the quickest way of getting to B to F? Is it the 38? Or is it the 20 and the 14, which is 34? Or is it the 15 and the 17, which is 32? It's actually the 15 and the 17. So to get from B to F, we'd go B, E, E, F, which would actually add us 32. And G to H... How would we get there? Well, would we go the 20 and the 21, which is 41, or the 9, 10, and 21, uh, which would actually be equal to 40, and that turns out the shortest. So we would go to G to J, J to I, and I to H, which would be 40. 
Just move this over a bit, it's a bit getting a bit cramped here. So this would add a total extra of the 32 and the 40, which would be 72. Okay, that's option one explored. Now B to G, how do I get from here to here? Well, would it be the 15 and the 34? Is there any other route there? 15, sorry, 15 and 24 seems the best option, which would be 39. So that is B to E, E to G, which is 39. And F to H, is it the 25? Is that the best straight? Or can we get there a quicker way? Up to D, that's not quicker. Down to I, that's not quicker. So it's simply 25. F to H is actually 25. You add these two together, you've got the 39 and the 25, and that adds up to 64. And now we do last option, B to H. How do you get from here to here quickest? Well, can you go via F? Uh, that's 38 and 20, 25. Um, but I'm sure there's a quick way because we knew that to get to F quick, quickest was the 15 and the 17. That's 32 and the 25 which would be equal to uh, 57. So actually this one here would be B to E, E to F, F to H, which would actually be uh, 57. And F to G, how would we get there? The 17 and the 24, or the 18 and the 20, the 18 and, uh, or actually we could go the 18, the 10 and the nine, uh, because that would be even quicker. So 18, the 10 and the nine, would actually add us up here. Um, to 37, so we would go F, I, I, J, J, G, which would actually add to 37. So if we add these two options together, the 57 and the 37, we actually get 94. Now clearly, this is the best option here, option two. So 64 is the best option, so, your conclusion, which rows do you traverse twice? So you traverse uh, BE, roads BE, EG, and FH tw uh, twice. Okay, or need repeating. Okay, so that's part uh, C done there. Now part D actually said to us, I think it just asked us to find the length of the shortest route inspection. So the length of the shortest route inspection is 379 plus 64, which is equal to 443, but don't forget the units, it's kilometers. Now in this particular question, they, they they said uh, use the route inspection uh, algorithm to find the rows to be traversed twice. It didn't actually ask you to write out your route in this case. So we didn't have to worry about that, okay, in this particular case, but sometimes you do. Okay, last part, it says if Ben starts and finishes algorithm uh, at different warden stations, a shorter route is possible. Determine the two warden stations he to choose to start and finish give a reason for your answer and state the length of the route. Okay, so going back to this one here. I'm just going to highlight this. Okay, so for the next part, we know we can start and finish anywhere. Now, you can solve the Chinese postman problem by starting and finishing at an odd node. Okay, so you can leave two of the things that were originally odd, odds. You can leave either, you can leave two of B, F, G or H odd. So the question is, which two do you leave? Well, the two you leave is determined by which two you should pair up. So the two two odd nodes to pair up are you just have to look 
along here for the sh shortest of these 32 40 39 25 57 37 clearly you should pair up f with h so r f h as only adds 25 25 kilometers okay therefore you would leave b g left odd okay um therefore b and g should be start and finish nodes and the weight the so the length of the root is clearly the 379 plus only one of the double ups needed plus 25 which is equal to 404 kilometers and we're done for that question.